In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can add a dynamic subscriber counter to your opt-in form, exactly like this one here. Let's take a look how it's done with Thrive Leads. To add a subscriber counter to any of your opt-in forms, you will have to choose the data element number counter. Drag it onto your opt-in form, and as you can see, it exactly look like the subscriber counter I just showed you. But don't worry, I will show you step by step how to get the same effect. So first of all, click on the counter, and in this menu you will be able to change all the settings. So I'll put this up here so we can see exactly what changes when we change the settings. Click on data settings. And you can see the start value, so this is from which number the counter will start counting. The end value, so for the moment it's 123, but we will add our number of subscribers. The label, this is the text that's underneath, so we don't need any label. So I will just erase it. And then to get the effect of having the text before and the text after the number, you will have to put a unit before and a unit after. So before we can put join and after the number we can put for example thrive teams vips now you can see that there is no spacing between the value and the units so by adding a space after join and one before thrive teams for the moment this text is a little bit too big for my opt-in form so i will change the font size to make sure that it fits you can change the unit font size and the value font size separately. So we start by the unit font size. And I kind of like it to have the same font size. So I will also font size. So this is what it looks like now. It looks already a lot better. But I think aligning in the middle would be nicer. So centered. And I also would like to change the colors of this text to make it stand out a little bit more. I can change the colors by going to the color picker. And here I can change the value and the unit color text separately. So for the value, I really want it to stand out. So I'll choose a light color. And for the unit text, I will make it in the same style as my opt-in form. So in this nice pink. Here you go. Now we have exactly the subscriber counter as I showed you in the beginning of the video. Simply save the changes and we can preview our opt-in form. So now it's up to you to try this dynamic subscriber counter on your opt-in form.